carpet was just installed in the drawing room at Historic Kenmore. Megan Buttinger, our curator, tells us all about it. The new carpet in the drawing room is a pattern that dates to at least 1790 and possibly a little bit earlier than that. Um, it doesn't have a proper name. Uh, the pattern for the carpet in the dining room was called uh, Medallion with Meander. This particular carpet uh, pattern didn't come with a name, but essentially it's large uh, medallions, large circles, interspersed with other shapes um, decorated with floral motifs. Uh, so it has a very feminine look to it. The primary colors in it are green, which go very well with the emerald green flocked wallpaper in this room, uh, cream background, and then shades of blue, purple, and another darker green interspersed. So compared to the dining room, it's a very uh, cool colored carpet rather than the warm colors that we have in the dining room. So much like the dining room carpet, uh, this uh, rug was made in the same factory in Kidderminster, England, the Grosvenor Wilton uh, Carpet Manufactory. It was produced on their 18th century looms, uh, which are still in working order. Um, it was woven by hand uh, using those uh, machines. It was hand sewn. It's woven in 27 inch wide strips that are then hand sewn together. And then the border is applied by hand as well. So it's a very laborious process. It takes a lot of man hours to finish it. The carpet was installed by carpet installers who have been doing this for many generations. Uh, this time we used a company out of Richmond, has a lot of experience doing other historic sites. And they were able to put it all together for us in one day. As many of our viewers may know, we already have a carpet in the dining room, the room adjacent to the room that I'm standing in right now. We have that carpet because we had a lot of physical evidence found during the restoration that told us there was a wall-to-wall -wall carpet there. In this room, we don't have the physical evidence, so we don't have proof that there was a carpet here. However, in the 1781 probate inventory that was conducted after Fielding Lewis's death, it actually mentions that there was a carpet in this room. It's the only room in the house that is mentioned as having a floor covering. So we decided to investigate and see if we could determine what sort of carpet would be in this room. Um, so the carpet that we chose for this room is a very fancy multicolored pattern dating to approximately 1790, although it probably existed before that. Um, but the difference between it and the dining room carpet is that it's in a Wilton weave rather than a Brussels weave. A Wilton weave was a slightly uh, more expensive uh, version of a carpet that you could get in the 18th century. It simply means that the uh, yarns in the, in the weave are cut instead of looped. And it gave the uh, carpet a much more lush, uh, soft look to it than the Brussels weave that we have in the dining room. 